The first poem I wrote very shortly after we were told that we can't get out, and it's called Confinement. In my apartment I now must stay, there is no question I must obey. The very latest regulation to deal with a grave situation. The coronavirus must not appear in Orchard Cove that we hold dear. I have a beautiful rose. It has a lovely aroma. It's a special sign that um, I've, I've gotten my COVID shot. I am a hidden child survivor of the Holocaust. I was born in Germany in a very small village in Germany. In Austria. Stuttgart in the south of Germany, and I lived there very happily until I was 20. We were chased out. I could see the black shiny boots uh, that the officers wore, and I could see the whips that they carried. There was the second oldest large Reform synagogue, and I could smell the burning of the Torah scrolls in the books. I was 14 years old. They took me to the train to Trieste, and uh, that's the last time I ever saw my parents. They perished in a, in a uh, concentration camp in Poland called Hamlo. My beautiful 35 year old mother is gassed in Auschwitz. I think as a survivor, you know, like in, in Germany, when I was a kid and Hitler came to power, I sort of lived through a period where I was constrained from living a regular life. But I think it made me prepared for a life where there are regulations that you have to keep. It's restrictive. I mean, it means that you can't just go and do whatever you want, whatever you please. You have to uh, follow the rules. Even though I've gone through a lot, the pandemic has introduced a very new feeling for me. Sometimes I feel lonely. I miss hugs. I so miss hugs, and I'm incredibly lucky that I'm getting this second vaccine. I'm very happy that it, they organized it so beautifully uh, to protect us, and <laughs> I'm not worried about it hurting. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to getting the second shot because I want to be able to go to the dining room and eat for 11 months. I've been eating by myself. I'm looking forward, man. My son wants to make, you know what a Seder is, you know, and my grandchildren. So that's what I'm looking forward to, see them with their wives, you know, and, uh, and I hope I'll be able to go, you know, they're going to let me. First trip is going to be to Atlanta, and I'm hoping to make it uh, uh, in September for Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you had Edith Bard here earlier, so she and I have a bet. I give her $10 if she goes to her son. She gives me $10 if I go to mine first. So I think I'll win, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> the Holocaust, in a way, and what all has happened to me, has made me very much stronger. Life is a gift. Even when it's poorly wrapped, it is a gift. So my wish would be nature would calm down and stop attacking us and uh, that we could live more peacefully, healthily and happily on, on this earth. Coronavirus, stay away, disappear. With our life, do not dare this interfere. I'm glad for technology. 
but I cannot replace a human touch, a kiss on your sweet face.